Hello and welcome to episode 21 of Youth Squad Legends. Now, if you watched the last episode, you'll know all about the ingoings and outgoings of York City. I actually think we've done really well, except for one position, the strike role. We brought in Mohamed Magoub, who we realised was a big mistake at the time, so... With the money that we've got left over, we're going to try and find ourselves another striker. Karl Jakovic fits the bill perfectly. He is 18 years old. His physicals are all right for an 18-year-old. His finishing's there. His dribbling's there. I'm pretty worried about his shot power, but he's six foot one. He is a beast. Position striker in centre forward. Has no skill moves whatsoever. He'll just be there to pass to and shoot. And the weak foot at four stars. Now my thanks go to FB. Hashtag shut the fuck up FB. For saying that when the guys are 17 and 18. They'll ask for less wages than when they're 19, 20, 21. And I'm guessing that was blatantly obvious. Because the valuation of the player goes up as well. But you know what? It went straight over my head. And I just didn't even think about the wage per age. Oh that rhymes. How huge is this? It's a new season. New players with Doncaster Rovers against York City. Immediately you can feel a difference of pace to the players in League 2. Corto slips through Chavez. Good pass. Now he's got to keep his cool. Chavez. He's chipped the goalie. Yes. Chavez is back. What a chip as well. The confidence is back. Chavez. The new Chavez, the goal scoring Chavez is back! Fernando da Silva. This presented to the player by the opposition. A goal from Injury. Oh, eight minutes into the season. Ah, oh, Fernando da Silva. No, 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 no. It's even more urgent for us to get a striker in before the transfer window shuts now with Fernando da Silva out. With a broken ankle. It's either Fenton or Magoob. Oh, let's go Magoob. Come on. Corto, the legend, already made one assist this season. Magoob is chipping up to Corto. He should have scored. Corto again. Yes. Corto opens his account for this season. The legend continues. 33 minutes into the match and I think that was the first touch for Ayala is that how good we've been playing or how bad Ayala's been playing I do not know but he's getting a couple of touches now it's very comfortable this the Doncaster Rovers fans don't know whether to cry or be silent because York City from League 2 have adapted quite easily and they're winning their beloved Doncaster Rovers but this is an attack for them. Oh, and they've scored, of course. So it's 2-1 now. Chavez. Oh, Magoo. I'm going for another chip. Take that. What's Turnbull doing off his line again? Okay, it's a different player, but you know what? This player watched Chavez score the first goal, and he's done it himself on his debut for York City. I haven't been able to say it now, but I can confirm Kwame Cresswell is Richard Cresswell's son. Definitely. Because the dude is white and he's English. He's definitely Richard Cresswell, the ex-York City scout and player. It's his son. There we go. 3-1. Full time. That is the end of the first game of the season. The future looks very bright for York City. I'm really sorry to see that. Fernando da Silva being out for three months. It's devastating news that. One of the better players of last season. That is a lengthy injury. Jose de Menzez's wages. Yesterday we had a meeting with Jose de Menzez's agent. He told us that the player had spoken to you a lot about his wage and nothing had progressed. Okay, how much do you want, man? 750. Pfft, all right. 
God, if I knew it was only that much of an improvement, you could have had it, like, months ago. It's the Capital One Cup against Mansfield Town. We all know what happened with York City in the Capital One Cup last season. We went on a bit of a run. Here's hoping we do it again. I just realised that the central defensive midfielder, Nathan Lang, actually has great standing tackle and slide tackle attributes. And it's not like he doesn't have the physical presence either, standing at six foot two. I'm going to stick him in centre-back for this game, see how he goes on. There's Rios. Aikens. Hermach. And just break down Mansfield here. With slow passing. Oh, it's broken to Magoo. Always going wide, that one. Cresswell. As a Vado. Here's Hermot. With Magoo running through. And Fenton. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, wow. The play was sensational. And I'm like, this is going to be a well-worked team goal. Put it into the back of the net, Fenton. He has blazed it over. There's Azevedo. There's the cross. It's not a bad delivery. We've just hit the post. Azevedo. Come on, keep hold of it. He has done, fortunately. Fenton, fake shot. Oh, lucky lad. That is much more promising by Michael Fenton. Ah, uh, Fiola's lost his man there. That was too easy for the Mansfield Town striker. Big chance for Mansfield just before half time. And they have missed it. Changing it up at half time. All three substitutes on. Catarino for Azevedo. Blasi for Rios. And Chavez for Magoo. Fenton chest down. And turns and shoots, hits the crossbar. Well, he's getting closer. Fenton. Oh, how close can the guy get without scoring? Cresswell will take this corner. That's dangerous. Good save. Very good save. Aikens, very tired. And he's going to have to do another 30 minutes if we don't score. Full time at 0-0, Mansfield are doing okay. They are writing an underdog story against the underdog masters of last season. Blasi, look at the space, I'm going to hit it. That must have been close. I, the keeper was stretching. We'll see on this replay. Oh wow, that is a whisker away. Fenton. More by luck, he has got the ball onto which Vez shoots. It's the post! It just isn't Fenton's day. Chavez. Look how many people are back for Mansfield here. They are wanting this penalty shootout. They want to take that gamble. Last attack. Bastos with the shot. Well, I've been shooting from long range all day. My luck's just not been in it. It has gone to the penalty shootout against Mansfield Town in the League Cup. So, Chavez to start the penalty shootout. He's good at penalties. Scored again. 3-3 three three for Chavez and penalty shootout. Lucas against Jennings. What's he going to do here? Oh, Jennings went the right way, but the ball has hit his kidney and gone into the roof of the net. Michael Fenton. Couldn't score this game, but does bury that penalty. Milbank. Jennings got to save something here. All for Milbank to miss it like he did just then. We lead in the penalty shootout. Here's Aikens with absolutely no stamina. He's put it in the green. He's composed. But the keeper has saved. It is now one miss each. Steves runs up. And hits the crossbar. They've missed again. Bastos. The centre back that have been playing right back this game. Oh, he's converted. Good penalty there. Craig. 
Oh, I went the right way again. But the penalty was struck hard and too quick for Jennings. Fiola going for the placement. Yeah, it's getting. York City have won in the penalty shootout. Mansfield put up a good fight, but the amount of shots that we had, the amount of chances in normal time, means that you can definitely say York City deserved to win that match. Jakovic has come back to us. He's accepted the contract offer. We will accept it, bring him into the club. Fingers crossed he is 60 overall. Jakovic, 61. Whoa, yes. Get in. And his shot power is not bad either at 63. We were worrying about his shot power. Finishing good, dribbling good, ball control good. Accelerations are in the yellow. Yep, good signing there. And a very good replacement for the injured Lucas Fernando da Silva. Last game this episode is York City against Preston North End. Ayala. Oh, it's in the post again. How many more long-range shots am I going to have this episode and hit the post? Oh, nice pass. Gone off. The save by our new Brazilian keeper. And again, what a save. Chavez. Uh. And still, Chavez. Oh, he's got it in. Yeah. Ronald Chavez. Maybe this is the season that he wakes the fuck up. That he realises what he can be at this club. Oh, lovely clip. And again, but it's wide of the net. Half time at 1-0 to York City. I am very pleased of what I've seen in this first half. I'm actually going to give you the decision whether or not to move to legendary difficulty. Tell me what you think, if it does need to change or if it doesn't need to change down in the comments section and I will do whatever's more popular. Chavez. Jakovic. Gonna give it back to a Chavez. He's having one of them games. Chavez to cross. Oh man, we are so bad at headers. Oh, great ball. Could this be the moment? It's the final kicks of the game. He's crossed it in. Overhead kick misses. Full time. York City have prevailed against Preston North End. The bad news from that game is that Jakovic was very quiet on his debut. Both of the Knights smiles all around. This has been Cutsy. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.